guys. We're walking into the Focal booth here at Expona 2024. Uh, as you're greeted over here, you will see a headphone bar. And this is really, really cool because they have several different tiers for you guys to listen to. They have entry level all the way up to the Utopias, which is, you guys will find that these things are always on someone's ears at, this, uh, at these types of events. People really enjoy these things. We also have the headphone edition of the Atom right here. So this little guy is a DAC streamer and amplifier all in one. So any of your wired headphones, you can go ahead and plug into that, whether they're Focal or not. And then you also have your traveling companion. These are the Batiste. They look like bathies, but they are the Batiste because it's quench. Uh, these things are really incredible. These light up on the side. They actually have a, uh, an app in there that you can test your own hearing, and this will customize the sound of these headphones specifically for you. So it's like your own footprint. Check it out over here. What we got is we have some of the architectural speakers from Focal. Um, maybe what I didn't mention is Focal and Name are a uh, paired union. So the Focal is the speaker side of things. Name is the electronic side. We have the Focal on-wall 300 speakers right here. These are very popular uh, right now. We also have the um, Nova right here, which is, again, an all-in-one. It's basically that one's big brother. So this one's a little bit, a uh, couple watts. This one is double the watt. So this one's really, really impressive. And then if you wanted a CD player, you, you cut the watts by 10, 10 watts down, and then you have a CD player with it as well. And then again, like I was talking about, this is the Atom. This is the standard one that you can use for bookshelves. And I would say comfortably up to the Arias um, with a lot of headroom. So this thing is very, very powerful. You would think only 40 watts uh, wouldn't really do much, but it is very high current. So that means it is very, very powerful. And then over here to the streaming side of things, we have the sound bar that you can get after. This is the um, Muso 2. Really, really enjoy that one. Um, just to have it for a sound bar or even music around the house, you just pop it on. Very, very powerful, 950 watts. You don't have to worry about ever needing a subwoofer to go with it. And then this one's its little brother. You can just use this one in the office or the kitchen. Basically the same thing. You just take, around, take out your phone. Anyone in the house that's connected to your Wi-Fi can just pop on and start playing music which is very, very popular. So let's check out over here. This is the brand new Nova PE, which I showed you guys right here. This is the Nova. So the PE is the power edition, right? So again, like I was talking about with uh, these different amplifiers, you kind of have a good, better, best type scenario. And this is best plus. So whenever you have something like Sopras, you want something very, very powerful to light these things up. So the power edition can actually perform up to the Utopia series for the wattage that comes out of this thing. Again, very, very high current. It's, uh, it's actually 100, I think 150 or 160 watts a channel, which is absolutely bonkers for something in this small of a form factor. But it's a streamer, a DAC, and an integrated preamp all in one, so you don't have to worry about anything. And these are very, very high quality DACs in there too. These are the special edition Sopra 2s, which come in the concrete finish. I'm not even sure if this is still a modern finish. I think these are discontinued, but the Sopa 3s or the Sopa 2s are easily some of my favorite speakers. I had these as my sound bar for several years in my house. Um, really, really enjoy those. Let's check out the rest of the system. We have the best, my favorite. I sit in the office and I listen to these things all the time, sending emails and whatnot. Let me see if I can get this thing in frame. These are the Grandes. The Utopia Grande is from Focal paired with the name statement amplifier. So that's just the size and scale of them. These things are literally like seven feet tall. <laughs> but we also have some acoustic panels over here on the side. Love these things. It's time aligned. As you can see, it's kind of curved with its, um, its uh, front face. We have beryllium drivers in there, W sandwich cone technology with the mid base drivers. And then you also have this big honking driver right down here. You can control this thing to at finitum right in the back. Let me see if I can show that to you guys. You also have a crank right here in the back. So you can turn this thing and this entire thing will articulate so that you can focus in on where you're sitting like laser beams. It's like a, you're focusing in on a lens, like a, like a microscope. You also get the electromagnetic right down here for the, uh, the, the base driver, this big one right here. And it makes all the difference. So they're using their traditional um, streamer right here. This is their flagship. This is um, out. This is um, their their flagship streamer um, from the I'm gonna call it the classic series. And then they have a new classic that just came out, which is the three three hundred series, which is incredible. I'll show you guys that in just a minute. Using that as the source here, this 
Terminator looking behemoth is the name statement. Again, like I was talking about, this is very, very powerful. This is the preamp. This is the, the amplifier for that channel. This is the amplifier for just this one channel over here. Um, very, very impressive system. I'll give you guys a demo in just a little bit. If you guys didn't know, Focal makes monitors. So if you want a nice set of monitors, whether they're passive or active, like these right over here, you guys can grab a nice set of those. Let's see, these are the Tevas and the Vestias. Very, very popular entry level type system. And this is juxtaposed. This is a very, very um, flagship type system. So this is the in-wall Utopia. Um, these are very, very popular as well. Granted their price, you know, they're, they're, they kind of collect a certain type of customer, but you can get the in-wall Utopia and then you add a subwoofer onto it. You can add as many subwoofers as you want. And then this is the 300 system like I was just talking about. So this is the new classic. This is the, this looks like the NSS333. We have the um, the NAC right below it, and then we have the power amp. So these are monoblocks. These are very, very powerful, and these will sound incredible. Completely overpowering these Contas, but you'll have tons of headroom with it. So again, like I was talking about, the NAC 332, the NAP 350s, and you can upgrade all of this stuff. You can add another box for each and every single one of these. You can add a separate power supply, which is we're gonna drop the noise floor drastically, give you a lot more detail and resolve and a lot more grip on the bottom end. Mm, I think that pretty much covers it for what you guys are going to be excited about. Check out the Thorins uh, as part of the Focal name umbrella. They have Thorins under their um, under them as well. So this is a very, very premium turntable right here. Really, really enjoy this one. I haven't had the pleasure of listening to this one just yet, but we, um, we just listened to one on a gentleman's yacht out in Kima, which is incredible. So... Really, really enjoy that one. Let's see, we have the brand new Arias right here in the moss green, which these things are flying off the shelves. If you guys if you guys have heard, uh, Arias are easily some of my favorite speakers for sure. And these have a completely different sound profile, a lot more presence with this reshaped tweeter. It's a redesigned tweeter. And then you also have a lot more bass extension with, uh, with not really changing the price. So let's check out what we got over here. This last part over here is going to be the demo of the ISO acoustics. And I did this demo earlier. I think you guys will be very, very impressed with it. But they will do a demo with the ISO acoustic speakers, which are more inboard. And then they'll switch to the ones that are outboard. The clarity and resolve and the grip on the bottom end just completely change. So I think that you guys will definitely enjoy checking that out. So hopefully we'll be able to get a demo of that just shortly. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up from the Focal booth out here at Expona 2024. Let me know what you guys think about any of this guy, uh, in any of this gear. If you guys are excited about anything versus this, that, and the other. I'm really, this was the first time I think I've heard the Power Edition, which was this one. So that was eye-opening.
This opened up the Sopras like no other. So this is a very, very powerful, capable amplifier and streamer set all in one. So if you want to simplify your solution, grab this thing, add an incredible power cable to it, and you guys are done. So um, we also have the Grandes right back here, like I was talking about. Again, oldie but goodie. Love this thing. These are an incredible set. Easily some of my favorites. If you guys want to grab any of this stuff, you guys know where to go. You guys can check out gridhifi.com. You guys can also go to gridhometheater.com, see why we're a five-star rated company by our peers. And pick up the phone, shoot us an email. We'd be happy to help you out. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.